Welcome everybody to a pandemic special. We're going back to the magnificent year of 2020 in honor of the house being on quarantine for COVID. So uh, this is S. Jay is uh, safely distancing from me. Uh, she'll be joining us uh, probably not for Junk Wax Thursday, probably not until next Monday again. But uh, in the meantime, we still have work to do. There are boxes to be broken. And so we're going to do something not too flashy, change it up a little. It's kind of new, but it's not brand new. And uh, I thought it'd be appropriate since the pandemic started in 2020 that this COVID quarantine night would uh, open up some cards from the original COVID year. So, uh, so let's do this. Heritage High Numbers 2020. I think uh, the big one in this is Lewis Roberts' rookie, I believe. I think that's the big one right now. So, uh, all right. Tops wrapper, bye bye. We have baseball's greatest moments. Let's see what is behind pack number one. Dominance on display, Brendan McKay, one of the game's greatest moments. Rookie. All right, Tampa Bay. How hard is it? Uh, not hard at all. Throw that there. Throw that there. Okay, let's start this off. Jay, I know you're here in spirit. I don't know if you're uh, you're watching or listening or you know doing your TikTok or whatever it is you do. Oh, I think uh, I wonder if Nico Horner is in this. Nico Horner may be in this one. Now and then, Shohei Otani history making. Manuel Clays. Fairbanks. Okay. So the hard thing about these guys, obviously the black border and the green border, these are going to be really hard to grade. Grade high, right? So, uh, probably makes them more valuable. Alright. Okay. Got a cubby going. Chad Wallach. Salvador Perez. Michael Franco. Shogo Akiyama. Oh, I wonder, uh, all right, a real one autograph or relic card in every box. I'd like to believe that, but we've been proven that that doesn't happen all the time with our brand new 2022 heritage. Uh, making an impression, one Soto. Oh, okay, so that's an insert. Oh, you know what I haven't been looking for is I haven't been looking for high numbers. Or variation. So I believe it's the 700s, 701 to 725, probably. Silver. So this says silver. The Salvador Perez says silver. Must be the silver title. Good thing I checked for high numbers, huh? It's a little miscut, it looks like. It's a little cheated to the bottom. It's kind of funny. Okay. Yeah, that's it so far. Let's put him over here. And let's keep going. Alright, we got something coming up here. <coughs> We've got Garrett Hampson White Border. I don't know why that's a white border. Oh, I wonder if this is like those ones where there's only 50 of them. But because the black border was typical of this year, they went with a white border. We'll have to research that later. Wookie we'll bets. Alright, and then let's just make sure there's no... Ah, uh, there is a high number. Okay. And yeah, nothing else written on any of those. Bag the high number. Seems to take a little bit longer when there's one person as opposed to two, right? Twice the time for half the rippers, is that what that is? Wheeler Award winner, Jake DeGrom, that is an insert. Okay, high numbers, not doing, nothing else doing. 
Move it on. What are some big cards from this box? Do you guys know? If you know, drop a comment. Put something in chat. Adrian Cutter, 1971. Insert. Sean Yamaguchi, rookie. Okay, high numbers, nothing doing, nothing else written. All right, starting to get into a little groove here. Jalen Davis, Cordero, Joe Kelly. All right, 701, we got a high number. Yay! There we go. It's so bizarre to open up packs in 2022 from 2020 that look like they're from 1971. It's kind of... Oh, Ricky Performer is insert. All right. It's kind of... Oh, P. Wizzy as a Mariner. It's kind of weird, right? Because I remember as a kid... You know, collecting anything from 1971 was going to cost real money. You know, like Ernie Banks or Willie Mays or Hank Aaron or someone. Like, that was real money. You couldn't just go to your store and, and, and get some random 1971 looking cards. Cody Bellinger. Bellinger? Bellinger? Delino De Shields Jr. Wow. Alright. No high numbers, nothing doing. Moving on. There he is, Mr. Lewis Robert. He's got a bump corner on the bottom. Well, I guess it's not too bad. And it is miscut. Just like the other one we pulled. That's very interesting. I wonder how many are not miscut from him. Kyle Gibson. Lamont Wade Jr. And we got a high number in this pack. All right. Nothing else doing. So, Lewis Robert, the card itself, just, I mean, I wonder if they do the off-center thing on purpose. They, they do that just to mess with us, I think. Kind of create their own little, you know, demand and rarity. Dustin Bay, rookie performer insert. Right, no high numbers, nothing else crazy. So is anything else coming out soon? Does anyone know? Saw Bowman hit, we did pretty good on a few blasters, but uh can't really find the the reason to go buy a hobby box, considering we bought six blasters, got two autos. You know, at that point, you know, if you're putting a set together you can do that with blasters, or at least a retail. You know, so you're paying that extra money almost twice, a little, actually a little over twice, to pull one auto that may or may not be a hit. At that point, it really becomes more about the gambling. You know, how how lucky do you think we are? I mean, Jay's pulled some really great cards, but at some point, you got to say, hey, wait a minute, that's just a little too much money for not that much payoff. So, uh, so we're curious to see what's happening next, what, what, what the next product release is, since uh, we're pretty much done with Bowman already. Edwin Rios, rookie. Is Edwin a high number? No, but Wade Davis is. I think he was a Cubby once, wasn't he? Does anyone remember? Nothing else on these guys. All right. Steve Chisek. All right. Oh, here we go. Here is the relic. No auto today. The relic is Gliber Torres. Game used memorabilia. Not too shabby. It is not numbered. It is off-center, maybe. Yeah, it seems to be a little off-center. 
and that's the big that's the big pull from this box. Yay! So half of the box left. Got the big stuff out of the way. Got the Lewis Robert. Got the uh, Clyber Torres relic card. Tim Lopez, Garrett Cole. Oh, got another high number, so that's good. Uh, did any of them say anything else? No, not so much. Moving on. Yeah, at least at this rate, you know, two boxes and you could, uh, I guess, three boxes, you could have all the high numbers. For the high numbers. <laughs> Award winner insert, Will Castro. Robel Garcia. Alright. Piled on through, we've got maybe what, seven packs left after this one. Salvador, oh, there's the Salvador Perez without the silver. There's another insert. Hunter Pence. No high numbers, no nothing special. Edwin and Carcion. High number, high number. And nothing else. So let's put the high number in there. Man, we're just blowing through these, right? Not much to talk about. Relatively new players. A lot of these guys aren't even in the majors anymore. But hey, that's that's how it works, right? That's the, uh, the price of the show, right? Next up, one, two, three, four, pack number five left. Or I guess technically four now that we've opened this one. Ooh, Ben Zobra Shiny. That is a, ooh, and it's, it's numbered. It's number 360 of 999. Is that a real on-card autograph? Maybe, maybe not. Why is this THC 505 numbered? That's very interesting. We're going to have to do some research on that one right there. And no high numbers, nothing else. Yeah, so everyone else here has a normal number, yet he. Ooh. Let's play two, Mr. Cubby. Oh, what a great card. 528. I wonder, LP28. Oh, so there's a whole insert set of Mr. Cubby. Awesome. Okay, oh right, because this would have been his last year, right? There was no 1972 card for Mr. Ernie Banks. Why does that look like an interesting card? We'll have to look at the back. Okay. Ah, it's a high number, but that's it. Nothing else about that card. Very interesting. Maybe the Diamondbacks, it's such a long word for that top little space there. Okay. Another insert. A lot of inserts in this box, a lot of high numbers in this box. And a few special cards with the last pack. What's the last pack going to have? Drum roll, please. Go ahead. There is the regular Benzo wrist. And there is an insert. I wonder why it was sticking. It's interesting. And no high numbers, nothing special. Now let's look at this. Is it the same number? It's the same number, 505. So this THC must stand for Topps Heritage Chrome. I 
That's you, that's why. Tops Heritage Chrome 505. Still number to 999. Great card for a Cubs fan. Lewis Robert, rookie. Uh, Mr. Cubby, let's play two. Some inserts. Some inserts. This white card is interesting. I think it is one of those, you know, only 50 but non numbered. And then the Salvador Perez is a silver Royals instead of the normal color. We'll, uh, we'll put that one in the top loader. And uh, that's it. Quick, painful, or painless. Sorry, got those confused. Got a bunch of high numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like every other Heritage box we've opened recently. Got the Lewis Robert rookie. It's a little off center. We'll put it in a top loader just because. And we'll put this white one in a top loader just because. We'll do some research on that. And uh, so, still going to be in quarantine on Thursday. Uh, we're going to crack open some junk wax just like we always do. Don't know what we're going to do just yet. Got about six or seven boxes of random 90s year still. So we'll see what happens. Uh, until then, have a great Crystal Lake break.